Kaleom Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to tackle this request. Muwa's channel asks, can you make the tutorial finger beam? Absolutely. We would be delighted to. Actually, this is a fairly easy thing to do. So I have some 10 second footage here. I'm going to drop in and I'm going to right click on it and say, make a composite shot. Click OK. And you can see that I'm not going to actually start the finger beams until about four seconds in. OK, so what I'm going to do is just to make my life easy is I'm going to right click on that and hit slice that layer. OK, and then it'll go until the end. OK, so the first thing that's going to have to happen is, is I'm going to have to track each of the digits. OK, the way that I will do that is I will open it up and under tracks, I will hit this little insert tracker plus icon and I will rename this thumb. You see now you can see the tracker here. I'm just going to expand it a little bit and bring it over and put it right here on the thumb. OK, and then I'm going to begin to track forward and if it stops, then I will start it up again. I'll make sure it's correct. It's in the right place, etc., and so on. OK, and then what's going to happen is I'm going to do that for each of the digits. So now I've created tracks for the thumb, for the index finger, for the middle finger, for the ring finger, and for the pinky finger. And it took me a little less than four minutes to do that. OK, so I have each one of these tracked. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to assign those track data points to points themselves. So I'm going to start by creating a new layer, a point layer. I'm going to flip back over to the viewer tab so that I can see that point. And I'm going to rename that point thumb. OK, and then I'm going to duplicate that. So I have five of them and rename these each of the digits. So now I have a thumb, index, middle, ring and pinky finger points. OK, and on each of these, I'm just going to simply transform the thumb to the thumb, the index to the index finger, the middle finger to the middle finger, the ring finger to the ring finger and the pinky finger to the pinky finger. OK, so now what this means is, is if I come back to here and I grab all of those points, you can see that they are perfectly tracked to each of the five digits on the hand. So now it's just a matter of creating the actual finger beam effect. The way that I'm going to do that is by creating a new plane layer and I'm going to call it beams. OK, and I am going to right click on it and say blend mode add and the beams won't appear until four seconds. So I'm going to uh, just shorten it up to four seconds. So now I'm going to add the lightning effect to this and that will be the beam, you see. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to start by opening it up and the starting point will be zero, zero, and I will use the thumb position. So it starts here. Then the ending point will be zero, zero, and I will use the middle finger position. All right. Now, if I come back to the wave scale and I drop that down to zero, and if I come to the twitch scale and drop that down to zero, if I then move down to branches, twirl it open and quantity zero also, then I have my finger beam here. Okay. Now, as far as the start and end, I think I'm going to make the width about two on both of those. However, understand that that would change depending on your sh your particular shot. OK, also at the beginning of this, it is actually going to grow out. So what I want to do is, is that I want it at this point to be zero. And then I'm going to move forward about 10 frames. Um, whoops, about 10 frames and I'm going to have it grow out completely. And I've keyframed that and I'll make those smooth keyframes. So what's going to happen is that's just going to like that. OK, now that I've sort of set up the beam, all I have to do is take my lightning and electricity effect, duplicate it by right clicking and say duplicate. Then I just need to change the start point for the second one to the middle finger and the end point for the second one to the 
pinky finger. And then I'm going to go from the pinky to the index finger, from the index finger to the ring finger, and from the ring finger back to the thumb. So now I have this five point star pattern and you will notice that if I start it, they grow out of there, right? Over 10 frames or so. And again, that could be however you want it. So then the only other effect that I added was sort of light flares on each end finger. So what I, how I'm going to do that is I'm gonna create a, or I'm gonna just grab my beams plane back in, but then I'm gonna rename it um, flares. Okay, and again, I want to right click on it and change the blend mode to add. And then I'm going to add a light flare effect to that. Okay, there it is. And I will go back to four. And what I want to do is under the hotspot position of that, I want to zero that out and use the thumb position so it's on the thumb. Okay. Now what I want to do is, is I want to keep frame the intensity and drop it down to zero, move forward about five frames, and then have it say come up to about one, and then move forward five more frames and back down to zero. Make those all smooth keyframes. And so then what you have is that little flare that happens, right? Just like that. And so now everything is set. All that needs to happen now is, is I will uh, rename that the thumb flare and then I will right click on it duplicate it rename it index finger flare and simply change the hotspot position to the index finger you see and there it is and I will do that for all of the digits so now that I have those set up for all of them if I do a RAM preview of this you can see that we had this and there is your finger beam effect. Now, could you use the light sword effect? Absolutely. Could you change the colors? You bet. Could you add some twitch back into it? Certainly, whatever you would like to do. So feel free to play with that and experiment. Come up with something that's brilliantly your own. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.